Opera came out with their own browser, a gaming browser called Opera GX. We're going to download that bad boy. We're going to compare it to Google Chrome. We're also going to look at all the capabilities it has. I'm freaking pumped, yo. All right, so I went ahead and downloaded Opera GX from opera.com slash GX. Hashtag download. Ooh, baby, already on opening this thing up. I'm freaking amazed. All right, so we have a GX control. I guess I can set a limit on the RAM and CPU, which is insane. It integrates with Twitch. I can customize the design. I can turn on a VPN. Is this like free? VPNs, I hope that's free. That would be amazing. You can integrate messengers already too, Facebook Messenger, and then ad blockers built into the browser as well. Hold on, I wanna check if this VPN is free first. <laughs> free VPN, are you kidding me? This is so cool. So I wanna compare and contrast the two browsers together here. So what I did is I went to my channel and I opened the same stream and I just hit play on both. And what you see here is Google's CPU usage seems to be a bit higher than Opera's. On average, Opera is about half of Google Chrome's CPU usage. And then the memory, they're relatively the same on the memory. So between the two, Opera does use a significant less amount of CPU. I want to get into Opera's CPU and memory controls and see if we can't even clean it up some more. All right, so I'm going to go to the GX control here. RAM limiter, toggle it on. Memory limit, 16 gigs. <laughs> no we'll put that down to one gig oh we're already i mean we're already below the one gig mark on it anyway so that really doesn't change anything i wonder if it's the same for the cpu yeah 13 percent. so even with setting these limiters it's not going to decrease what we're what we're doing here so still though this limiter feature is really cool i wonder if we duplicate this let's take a look okay now okay so now we're limiting it oh <gasps> oh look how well that works i wonder how if these are loading if this is like this is still running well definitely not but it definitely limits it definitely taking a minute for everything to load let's see if we up the limiter here to four okay it's at 1.3 let's turn the cpu up 25 oh that's <laughs> that's what was just struggling right there wow that limiter it really works that's so cool all right, so next we have this Twitch integration. I already logged into it. This is really cool. It shows you your account, shows you how many followers you have, and then it shows you the channels you follow. I haven't done anything with this yet, so I wanna click on Overwatch League, and it literally just sends you to the channel. That is so freaking sweet. Let's see, you can just go to Twitch itself. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. Next thing we're gonna look at is my flow here you're able to connect your web browser here with my touch which is opera's web browser for your mobile device which i downloaded and i set up all you have to do is scan like a qvc code on the screen and it sets it up with your mobile device this is the coolest thing i've ever seen all right so i'm setting up this opera touch because i want to see what all this is about but check this out as i'm setting this up well, okay, so on here, right, it gives me the option for ad blocking, cryptocurrency mining protection, uh, block cookie dial dialogue boxes all together, automatically accept cookie dialogues, and then I can apply a dark theme, which obviously, if you don't use a dark theme, then you've got something wrong with you. And then my flow is how I'm gonna connect it to my computer. So I'm gonna set that up real quick, and all I have to do is scan this QR code that it gives me here. Okay, so basically what's going on here is I can click this little my flow icon here and I can leave a note for myself. So on top of that, this is so cool. I can upload images and videos. So if I let me let me let me just do this. Let me open this video. <gasps> so, oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. If I get this on my phone, that means I can download that video from the browser and I can upload videos, clips, Twitch clips, things like that from Opera GX My Flow to Instagram. Okay, this My Flow feature is blowing my mind. So anytime I find like a cool picture that I wanna save on my phone when I'm browsing or any link that I find, if I just wanted to put this link in here so I can look at it later or leave it, even just leave it here in My Flow so I can save it and have access to it later it's there and it saves it or i can look at it 
like say I'm going to work and I need to continue to read an article that I was reading or something like that, I can just hop on my flow and like look at it on my phone. That is so cool. The, the video thing, the picture thing, all that stuff is it's actually that is super cool. That is such a cool tool. All right, so we're going to take a look at the sidebar here. We're going to go to the gaming corner up at the top. And what we have here is new upcoming and interesting games, things like that. We have a deals aggregator, which is really cool. It, 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 it seems like it's integrated with several different sites. So you have Steam here, GOG, Humble Bundle, and the deals are actually fairly good. Like the Sleeping Dog Games is 85% off. That, I mean, that's so cool. And then you have daily news for gaming, entertainment, technology. You can toggle which what articles you're interested in. Um, and then it pulls information based on that from multiple news sources, which is so amazing. And this is just integrated into the browser. Crypto wallet, uh, if you're a cryptocurrency guy, which I am not, I don't have any interest in it. Extensions, so let's see what kind of extensions Opera has. Um, there's some nifty extensions in here. You can take a look. You can even download uh, wallpapers straight from uh, this store here there's an opera store for wallpapers which is cool but obviously extensions are extremely useful LastPass is something i use for almost everything because i have a million passwords so i'm gonna go through and get these all set up when i can all right yo i'm actually browsing the wallpapers and there's some sick wallpapers i didn't realize the tab that said animated but you have a top rated tab popular new animated and then gx so gx is obviously the opera ones going through the animated it looks like some of these are made by um users so like look at this phantom assassin dota 2 look at that tell me that's not cool obviously it's a little pixelated but wait you can detach the video oh my what the heck yo this is just a, this is all this stuff is so cool to me what the heck i mean guys look at this gnar look at it look at it <laughs> So I was browsing through the advanced settings on this bad boy and you can set up keybinds for your web browser to like clear browsing data, close tabs, close windows, open up developer tools. What the heck? This is amazing, at least for gamers. If you're not a gamer, this probably wouldn't be as interesting, but for me, I'm kind of geeking out, right? Less CPU usage. You have more capabilities. The MyFlow thing is just blowing my mind. There's so much you can do with MyFlow as far as sharing news articles to yourself um, so that you can then share them to your friends just automatically. And then also integrating the Messenger app from Facebook straight into the browser itself and Twitch and all those things. I think this thing is seriously so cool. I already set it as my default browser. I'm gonna be using it. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I love this thing. I can't wait to see where it goes. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.